Hello Taurus and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your May 2023 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, take what resonates. This won't be for everyone. So let's see what we have for you for the month of May. I'm going to pull an overarching energy, then some general energies, then look specifically at love, romance, relationships and money, career, finances and any other thread that we get. So, Taurus, <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups. I mean, Taurus, May is the majority of your month, Taurus season. So happy birthday for those of you who have end of April to May birthdays. But yeah, the Nine of Cups, a wish coming true. We have the Page of Wands. Judgment. The Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Two of Swords, let's see what we have in terms of love, romance, relationships first, Taurus, and then money, career, finances, what do we have for Taurus please, Angel Spirits Guides? Love, romance, relationships. Thank you. We have the Four of Wands. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Let's see what we have in terms of money areas. What do we have for Taurus, money, career, finances, angel spirits, guides? We have the star, and we <laughs> we have this very lovely cards. We have the six of wands. I feel these cards are connected. I felt that in a couple of readings. What do we have? Sometimes spirit will say what it wants to say. Let's pull you an angel card. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angel spirits guides message for Taurus. Yeah, <laughs> look for a sign. Let's see what we have in love, romance, relationships. What do we have for Taurus, please? Message for Taurus, love, romance, relationships. Thank you. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And let's pull a card for money areas. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for Taurus. We have declutter. You'll feel better and more focused if you'll take time to clear away the clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. The declutter energy can also be about releasing from things that don't serve you. And we do have some kind of victory here, Taurus, which means that you can move on from this situation here. Right next to each other, we've got the two wish fulfillment cards as well. So I'm going to pull you a, a number for the month of May. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angel Spirits Guides. This number might be significant for you. Message for Taurus. We have Leadership, number 81. I took a sneak peek at the bottom of the deck, which I sometimes do, so I always put it down. We have number 93, Happy Ending. <laughs> Clearly with these cards here.
and I'm going to pull you an energy card. Let's see what energy we have for the month for Taurus, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Taurus. Oh my goodness, man holding a coin. Number 43. Oh my, you know, daughter value number 31. This is a new beginning in money career finances or, you know, uh, some abundance that marks a brand new beginning. But these energies are very good in terms of money areas in particular. Daughter value is money career finances in the energy deck. So let's start on that thread. Feel all's well that ends well here. Because the Nine of Cups is you're going to get your wish. But you kind of make it happen. You know, the Nine of Cups is somebody who is satisfied because they've made it happen. They have taken the steps they needed to take. They have pursued what they needed to pursue. And now they enjoy their wish coming true, you know. So this is a lovely energy here in terms of a hope, a dream, a wish is manifested into reality and you feel proud of yourself. You feel happy with yourself in an area of your life. This is somebody who enjoys great happiness and celebration and even wants to celebrate with others because this is what I've done. This is what I've achieved. I want to show it to everybody. They, they line the cups on a trophy shelf to, sh to shelf to show their achievement, their success to the world. So this is a great energy here of getting a wish. Can be great happiness in whatever area of life. Let's look at your money, career, financial aspect. You're waiting for a judgment. The Two of Swords... You might have an inkling in how it's going to go, but you don't know. The Two of Swords is you're stuck because things are beyond your control. And again, intuitively, you might feel like a judgment is going to go down on a particular side, but you're stuck. You don't know. Judgment is, it can be some independent decision that we're waiting to hear on. That can be in terms of jobs, money, career. It can also be things like legal circumstances, contractual things as well. It's something that can bring, I feel in this scenario, it brings an end to a process that you've been going through, whether it's job hunting, whether it's pursuing, you know, you know new hopes, dreams and wishes, whether it's to do with you know, a legal scenario, for example, as well. There's some significant decision coming into you here, and that's what judgment says. And there's a karmic quality to this, because a strong sense that if you have worked towards this, which I feel you have here, Taurus, the Seven of Pentacles, putting a lot of energy and time towards bringing some kind of hope, dream, and wish in, but you've had to persevere. This has not come easy. The Seven of Pentacles is somebody who really works hard and they, they come so far. They see some kind of return of, of uh, reward on their labor, but that is a little bit frustrating because you still have more work to do before you get the end result. This is the energy here of, of sometimes we have to keep on persevering. We have to keep on, you know, persisting. We have to keep on putting our practical resources and time and energy into a particular direction but spirit is telling you yes there is some perseverance in may to be done but with that there is also then the anticipation of celebration for you your home your family your relationship on whatever life area this is i will also say if this wasn't money career finances it could be in terms of You've pursued a route to get your dream home, you know, because these energies can be that too. But there's still more work to be done. Feels like it might have been an arduous process or might be. 
But you're being told, yes, you're waiting on a judgment, but have faith, you're going to get your wish. The six of wands, you're going to win, you're going to succeed, you're going to claim a victory, you're going to claim a success. Victory is yours, the six of wands energy. So this is a lovely energy here of if you've really pursued something here, just have faith, keep on going, keep on persevering. There's the anticipation of celebration here, Taurus, but with the overarching energy of then, you get your wish. With the Page of Wands and the, pa the Ace of Pentacles, this is new abundance. The Page of Wands is good news. It's exciting. It marks a new, a new path, a new beginning as well, but it can be a very positive message. This Page of Wands can also be linked with opportunity, but not always. So very good in terms of jobs, business opportunities, career, new business wins, new client wins, all of that kind of energy too. Um, but yeah, the Page of Wands, good news coming in. With regard to the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles can be a new job opportunity, a new business opportunity, a sum of money coming your way. And also, again, if it was property, this can be very good news in terms of moving or relocating. Almost like getting that kind of green light to go. So that's what I'm seeing here, Taurus. I mean, the energies just feel so positive. Now, I wasn't as much getting, I wasn't really getting anything through for romance. It just feels that the effort and the work has been firmly focused on the practical side of things. Money, career, finances, property, home. Um, and also the energy here of if you've offered some kind of sum of money on a property, this is, oh, I don't know if it's going to be enough. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm waiting for a choice or a decision, but it feels like it's going to be good. Um, the leadership energy can be about leadership positions or taking the lead in your own life. Man holding a coin, again, this feels like just that sense of some decision coming in that brings in that sense of stability, marking a brand new beginning for you, uh, abundance, a new abundance coming your way. So this just feels here, Taurus. And again, this can allow you to just release from what's gone before. Again, if you don't like where you live, you can just like release from it. If things have been an arduous process in a legal scenario, just releasing from it. If you didn't like where you worked, releasing from that. That's what I feel with this declutter energy. You can just, and also if you were searching for new employment, you can finally release from some kind of arduous process now. You know, there's just accept that there will be some perseverance that's needed. You are going to be stuck for some amount of time in May, but <laughs> you get your wish. I mean, that's what I'm seeing here. And you're going to get some kind of sign or inkling. That's what I'm seeing here too. In terms of relationships, the message that I'm getting here that's just dropped in is there could be some choice or decision to make. If somebody hasn't wanted to um, or wasn't ready to make some kind of life choice in how a relationship moved forward, this can be about being open to look at how far you've come and where things move forward now. Because again, the star and the six of wands is about moving forward and having faith. If there was some kind of reservation or some mental block, it feels like someone's moving forward anyway because they just trust and believe it's leading to greater happiness and fulfillment. I feel these cards are very positive. I'm not really getting any negative energies from the reading. 
Sometimes judgment can be a second chance card, but I'm not getting that energy. Because again, the Page of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles is, yeah, let's go for it, let's do it, let's move forward, let's take action. And it's all down to greater emotional stability, security and commitment. That would be the thing that I would get in terms of relationships. Could even be buying a home or a property together of some kind as well, moving or relocating. But that's what I'm seeing here, Taurus. But for the majority of you, I feel it was more to do with money. Money of some kind where you get the end result due to some kind of judgment or decision coming in. And that's what I'm seeing here for you. It's very, very favourable for you and very karmic, very deserving, you know, with this energy. So I'm going to pull you a message from Spirit. What do we have for Taurus? Message for Taurus. We have ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired and irritated and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centred and allow Spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the Divine Source. Lovely energy. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to pull you a final message. Let's pull from the fairy deck. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Taurus. Yeah, <laughs> just such lovely cards. We have, yeah, a magical blessings beneath that. We have Flourish. The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and to shed your inner light on any unclear errors of your life or those of others. And we have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. That's what I see for you, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.